Hi friends, how are you all? Miss Victoria is back with you to do a literacy lesson. We are going to be working on our caterpillar alphabet like we did on the Zoom call if you join me for that. So it helps to have your alphabet next to you. So Miss Victoria sent this sheet home to your parents so you can look at that while you're doing it and follow the order of the letters, okay? So you're going to start with Mr. Caterpillar's head, <laughs> which is right here, all right? And then we can, what do we need first? What's the first letter of the alphabet? A, very good. So I mixed all my letters up here and you can do the same. And then we're gonna find our letter A. So look all around. There are a lot of letters, so it's tricky to find, but here it is. So we do our letter A and you can make your caterpillar look however you want. It could be a wiggly line, you could do it in a straight line. Miss Victoria is gonna make a little bit of a swirly line like a snake, okay? What comes after A? A, B, that's right, B. So there's our letter B. So we have A, B, and what's next? C, very good. A, B, C. What comes next? D, very nice. So here's my D. What's the word that begins with D? D, D, daddy or dog. So we have A, B, C, D, E. Very good, friends. There's my letter E. We have A, B, C, D, E. What comes next? F, very good. F, F for fish. There we go. I'm going to make him start coming around and in this little loopy. So A, B, C, D, E, F. What comes next? G for great. Great job. There we go. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. If you're not sure what comes next, you can also look on your chart, right? What comes after my G? H. Very nice. Where's my H? H for horse. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. What comes next? I, I, very good. I for ice cream, Miss Victoria's favorite. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. What comes next? J, that's right. Here's my J. J for jump. J, let's look up my letters again. What comes next? After the J comes K. So put your K right next to your J. So we're kind of working backwards. Miss Victoria is working backwards, but we're still going in order, right? So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. What comes next? L. And we can check it. L4. What's this? Lion. K, L. Then we need what? What comes after the L? M for monkey. Let's find that M. And our M and our W is it can be a little tricky because they're if you turn them upside down, they look the same, right? So let's use our yellow M. M. What's M for? What another word beginning with M? Mom, right? Mommy. And we have a special day coming up, friends. It's Mother's Day coming up. So we're going to do lots of nice things for our mommies, right? And be extra good. All right. What's after our M? L M N N for Nico, right? N for nice. L M N. What comes after our N? Let's sing our song and see if we can figure it out. A B C D E F G. H I J K L M N O very good friends O is for owl and orange I'm gonna make my caterpillar come around now so we go our O what's after our O can you see in my letters can you see what comes next P my orange P P is for penguin or pie Right? Or what else begins with the letter P? Can you think of any? Pear or peach. Very good. All right. Miss Victoria forgot what comes after the letter P. Let's sing our song again. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 
H I J K L M N O P Q. There's my Q, my green Q. Can we think of what begins with Q? Q is for queen, quilts, right? Very good. All right, what comes next, friends? Can anyone think about it without singing? L M N O P Q R. R is for rabbit, run, rice. Do you guys like rice? So we have a R. Let's think about what comes next. O P Q R S. They have S for snowman. What else begins with a letter S? This kind of looks like something beginning with a letter S. S is for sun. The sun is shining today. Sun and snake. S. What comes after our S? Let's look at our chart. T for tiger, or what else begins with a letter T? Tricycle. T is for, hmm, can you think of any other T words? I have a friend named Tommy. T, T is for Tommy. Tomato, this kind of looks like a tomato, right? T, and then we have, what comes next? I think we should sing our song. Let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U for umbrella or U for, they have umbrella on your sheet, right? Umbrella. Very nice. U, what comes after U? V for that's my name, Victoria, and violin, and they have vacuum, so UV, and then I'm going to curl my caterpillar around again. So we have UV, W, W is for watermelon, water, whistle, right? VW, and we have... This is our letter of the week. What is it? X. Very good. There aren't a whole lot of words beginning with the letter X. It's a little tricky. We have X for X-ray and xylophone. And X comes at the end of a lot of words like fox or box. X. Can you hear the X sound? So W, X. And what's next? We only have two letters left. Which comes first? The Y. Y is for yogurt or yellow. This is yellow. Y and the last one. We did the whole alphabet. The letter Z. Very good. So you see we did the whole alphabet in our caterpillar. So you can keep these and you can do lots of different things with these. We could make words, when you can start to make words out of them. You could even start to spell your names with them. So Miss Victoria wants you guys to do that. I want you to practice doing your name. And if you have more than one of the letters in your name, maybe your parents could print you out an extra copy of them, okay? And then you'll have extra letters. And you can even get an extra copy and then stick them on a piece of paper with your name. And you can send Miss Victoria a picture. So to do that, should we try one so we can see what I mean? So let's do London's name. So we're gonna take all of our letters apart and we'll start a caterpillar again. And let's think of the letters we need for our friend London's name. So we have, she has her name starts with the letter L, L, London. So we have L and then she would find her O. And then we have our N and a D and then she would need another letter O so then you could have another copy or you could even just make a circle and write the letter okay so it's one we'll pretend this is a letter O and then we would have a, oh she's got another <laughs> we would need another N so she would have to have a write on a circle a letter N London Let's try someone that doesn't have two lots of <laughs> the same letter in their name. Let's try Noah. So we would find an N, N, 
Noah, and then an O, and then an A, and an H for Noah. And he could stick those on his paper if he wanted to. He could make it go in a different, we could go down, however he wants to do this letter, his letters of his name. Should we do one more? Let's do one more. Let's do my friend Greta. She doesn't have any repeats of any letters, so we can do this with mine. So we have G, and then I'd find out R, E, T, and then we would need a letter A, Greta. And there's Greta's name. All right, so you can have fun with this and play around. You could spell, see if you can spell mommy. Your parents can help you write different words, okay? So you can reuse these and have lots of fun practicing your letters. Okay, great job today, friends. Thanks for making a caterpillar with me, and I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.